Hi, I'm Miss Sarah. I want to teach you a fairly simple marching song that's really great for gross motor skills. And when the kids are older, they can come up with their own additions to the song, which naturally they love. It's very simple. It's called All Around the Brickyard. Now, one of the things that I did, um, the one of the circles that I have is on a, a blue carpet with a black line. So I would say, I would change lyrics to make it really literal for where we were. All around the black line, remember me. And they really respond to that because it's theirs. It's their song, you know. So the song goes all around the brickyard, remember me. And then you have a gesture that goes along with some kind of action. It has to be a one syllable verb, right? So. All around the brickyard, remember me. I'm gonna sing and sing and sing and sing and remember me. And then you march. So as you're singing, you're marching. Now, when they get a little bit more advanced, you know, you can you can create obstacles, you can add things to the song. It's really malleable. But what you want first is to make sure that you've got a gesture that goes along with a word that the kids know. So all around the brickyard remember me i'm gonna reach and reach and reach and reach and remember me all around the brickyard remember me i'm gonna poke and poke and poke and poke and remember me all around the brickyard remember me i'm gonna shrug and shrug and shrug and shrug and you can see it's pretty limitless. I, I can fly, I can jump, I can bounce as long as it's one syllable and it's a physical movement they can do. So what you can do once the song is advanced enough and you're doing it as a march around the perimeter of something, if there's a line on the ground, if there's a, a um, what are they called, a seam around the carpet, if there's something that they can march in a pattern around, you've got this. I like to take a movement dot, something that's an obvious color like yellow, and put it on a spot. If my group is big enough, which is rare, but if my group is big enough, I put that yellow dot there so that whenever the children who know this song very, very well, whenever a child steps on that dot, they are the one that's responsible for the movement. So all around the brickyard, all eyes go to the yellow dot as we sing Remember Me, and then Ethan or another child goes, and that means everybody goes, we're gonna fly and fly and fly and fly and, and that takes a long time to develop and it's a big group to do, but it's entirely tenable. I'm amazed at how young the kids that I'm showing this to, they're capable, they're capable. So um, I think probably, you know, if we're, if we're thinking developmentally, like that's a target for like a first grade or kindergarten, but preschoolers are capable. Um, as long as, like I said, your group is big and you are really consistent about practicing it. All you need is a single syllable verb and you're good to go. That's it, thank you very much.